Hey guys, Nitin here again with the Ultimate Ebook Creator. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a complex PDF file and convert it into an ebook. So I got a call from one of my customers and uh, she had this PDF file which has got some complex formatting. She wanted to preserve everything, including the headers and the footers and, and all that. And she tried to do that through the conversion tools in UEC. So she used, you know, these PDF conversion tools. Um, unfortunately, sometimes it just does not work out, right? So I've built in a brand new feature into UEC and that is to uh, convert the pages to images and then create a fixed uh, layout book. And that way you're gonna, you're gonna get perfectly uh, formatted uh, pages because actually they're images, right? So it's really convenient. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to basically take a PDF and convert it into an ebook. Right? Okay, so the first thing we want to do is open up UEC and you'll need at least version 2.7.0.0 because the new feature is actually um, as of this version here. Okay, so if you don't have it, send me a quick email and I'll send you uh, the new version, all right, if you're a customer. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Tools. So I just basically started UEC. I'll go into Tools and I'll go to PDF. Oh, it's actually called PFG, which is, <laughs> okay, so it's a typo, but it's PDF Convert Pages to JPEG Images. Okay, once you click on that, then we'll click on uh, uh, this icon here. And we're gonna go to the desktop. And then I have a, uh, a folder called book. And in here, I have this PDF and I'll click open. All right. And as you can see here, it has 174 pages and the default resolution, which I would recommend and I wouldn't touch this is 300 dpi and the qual image quality will leave at 100 percent and the page size will leave at uh, original as well okay and simply click convert okay so it's going to take a few seconds and it's basically generated an image for every single page in the PDF file. As soon as you click OK, it's going to open up the folder where it's actually created all these files. Okay. And technically, it, what it's done is, you know, we were in this folder here and it created a folder called Converted Pages. And inside there, we have all the images. So if I just go to um, Extra Large. Okay, so I'm just viewing the pages. You can see here that it's basically converted, I should say, every single page into an image. All right, so that's that's that. Okay, so that's step one done. Now what we want to do is we want to take the PDF and we want to generate the table of contents, right? So let's leave this aside for now. We'll click close and then we're going to go to file import manuscript advanced import and then we're going to basically go file open select our PDF from the drop down select the PDF that we want to convert and click open so what we're really doing at this point is we're going to extract the table of contents um, from this file and then we're going to generate our table of contents. That's all we want to do from here. Okay, so here is the table of contents, right? So what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight the table of contents. Make sure you highlight all of them, okay? And then we're going to go edit and say table of contents wizard. So it basically takes this and creates a table of contents. Now what we want to do is we want to remove these uh, leading uh, page numbers because they probably won't be the same page numbers that we have and uh, you know most ebooks don't require this so 
simply click on remove page numbers from the end and magically they're gone and you can always clean this up but if you know we're going to leave this for now but you can clean it up if you want um, but that's all we're going to do so every single one of these is a chapter and then if you notice here we don't have anything so we're going to actually transfer this right into our contents okay so we simply click on this button here called generate toc it's going to give us a warning saying you're about to create toc do you want to continue we'll click yes and boom it basically created our table of contents all right so that's all we need from here we can close this down we don't need this anymore and for this particular so every single pdf is kind of different so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go into here and uh, show you the workflow for this particular pdf file so we go back into the folder and into the converted images and let's go ahead and uh, see the uh, the large uh, image format now what we have here is we have some images at the front so if we double click on this we see that we have a review here then we have a, a, a picture and then we have uh, also by Kelly Potter so that's these three and then we have the cover page here right so let's put the cover page in place so it's basically the second we can use the second of the uh, page four right so we go to book information we'll put down um what was it called uh what was the book called it was called perfectly planned okay so we'll say kelly coach publisher will set up as the same kelly coach keywords we can we don't need to put in the keywords but we'll go to cover page and then we'll browse to the images just like i'm doing here and we'll select you know we can select the page two or page four it doesn't really matter i'm just going to select this one um this one is actually the one i think this is the uh, cover page because it's some extra info here so let's select that we'll click open and it gives you a little thumbnail view of this page. So this is fine. So it's done. The next step is to basically save this ebook. So I'm gonna click on file and then save. And then within the uh, within the desktop, I'll go to my books folder. And here I'm just gonna create, I'm just gonna type in perfectly, perfectly planned, right? perfectly planned click OK so I've created my project um, so I've saved everything and since this book has got one two three pages which are front matter which I call before the table of contents uh, that's what we're going to do so we're going to go to front matter we're going to right click and say front matter add and then it's going to say a table of contents title right so we're just going to say um, uh, review we'll call it review we'll click OK and and in here we'll just delete this and we're gonna go insert bulk insert images we'll go to our cover pages again and we can see that it's this page this page and this page as our front matter so basically we'll we'll click and then shift click the third one so we highlight all and we'll click open so if you take a look at this now, I'll just make the pages smaller so you can see, right? So we've got the first page here, then we got the second page, and then we've got the third page, all right? And then it creates a blank page. All you have to do is basically press your back, uh, back button and it will just remove that page. Okay, so we've got the front matter done. You can call it what you want. I just called it review, right? So that's done. Now, what is the next step? So we've got our cover page, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, over here, we've got copyright uh, information. So that goes into our title page, right? That's uh, typically our title page. So we already have a title page. We'll just remove this, right? And let me just go back here and we'll see this title page is that, and then we've got dedication that can go down there. 
and then we've got the acknowledgement. So we're going to put these three pages as our title page, right? And then here, once again, remember, we're going to put down pages five, six, and seven. Okay, remember that. So we'll go here, we'll say insert, bulk insert, we'll say pages five, six, and seven. Click OK. And now we've got pages five, six, and seven. And if you notice, we've got the footers happening because it's really an image, right? And look at the formatting. This We don't have to do anything about the formatting. Everything is showing up. Now, in this particular uh, video that I'm shooting because I'm using Camtasia, some of these uh, pages may not look correct. It's because I'm actually recording, but um, if I'm not recording, they will uh, show it properly. Okay. So once again, I just removed that old page, blank page, and then there you have. I'll just click save to keep saving my work. Right. So that's so we've done our title page, we've done the review page. Um, now we come to uh, the actual content. So the content will start after the page. After the table of contents, we don't care about this because we already have that. Then we're going to put this, 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 and what is this called? Shattered Trust. And it goes, and this one is called the Ringleader, right? So the Ringleader is the, the second chapter. So the first chapter is going to be, is Shattered Trust, is going to be one, two, three, four pages. Okay, so it's page nine to page 12, right? So once again, you go to Shattered Trust, you delete this, you go insert, and then you say bulk insert. And remember, it's not page nine to page 12, right? So we'll say insert bulk insert images nine and shift and select, uh, shift and click, so nine, 10, 11, 12, click open and you can see the extra page we'll just remove it all right great so you see here exactly the way it is all right you've even got the blank page going on we've got the the shattered dreams all right so that's that one done now we're going to do the ringleader right so the ringleader starts from page 13 and i think it goes on, what is this one? Traumatized, right? So that it goes from 13 to 24, right? You can see here 13 to 24. All right, so do the same thing. Remove that. We'll go insert, bulk insert, 13 to 24. Click open. Boom, boom, boom. Everything is nice and clean. And you can see that we have our uh, we have our content. All right, great. So you can kind of keep doing this. So now you can go to traumatized, and um, and you can carry on, right? So you can go down all these pages. Now I'm going to stop here, right? And I'm going to show you the uh, final file, right? So once we've done that, let me just save this might take a few seconds now because you are actually filling it with images. So it is a fixed layout book. And then we go to export and we can export to a Mobi or EPUB. Either way, they'll work, but let's go ahead and do EPUB for now. Okay. We're gonna do EPUB and then I'm just gonna go back to this folder and I'm gonna save it as an EPUB file right here within my project, okay? All right, done. So it's gonna show this dialog and it says open file location. So if when you click on this, it's gonna actually open right up into exactly where this EPUB file was. Now, I, I have Adobe Digital Edition installed on my uh, computer, but I also have uh, Amazon's uh, Kindle Previewer, and I think that's what I want to use. So let me bring that up. And this is a free software available from Amazon. So if you just Google Amazon Kindle Previewer, you'll get the download. Now all you need to do basically is go to the folder where the PD, where the EPUB file is, and simply drag it onto the surface 
and it'll say it, it's going to compile the EPUB into a MOBI file. Okay, and it was successfully compiled. Click OK, and then it's going to open up the. All right, so it's going to open it up, and we can actually go all the way back to the beginning of the. Uh, yep, the beginning. All right, okay, so we are right here at the cover page so you can see the cover page and then you can uh, actually uh, go and actually take a look at the book and right now the font is the font size is uh, you know you can specify the font size if you want to like this just to see how the different font sizes kind of react but the thing is because this is a fixed uh, format book um, it's not going to affect the font size, right? So it's just going to show like this. All right, so now we can go ahead, ahead like this. We can go next, next, and then you can see the table of contents. Now, this is actually proper table of contents. So let me take it down. And you can see here that all these things are actually clickable. So if you click on this, you can actually see that. Your table of contents. And see here, you can click on the ringleader and it'll take you to the ringleader, right? Now, this looks kind of tiny because I'm actually on a, a high res screen, but you can see that it will, you know, your Kindle book will look perfectly formatted and it's even got the, the page numbers here, right? So that's basically how you create your, you know, your uh, PDF and you convert it to a fixed format book. All right, I hope you found this video useful and we'll see you in the next video.